So right now we are gonna make some gecko food. DMJ Reptiles. Do it yourself, crested gecko or New Caledonian food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going with I'm going with a combination of mangoes and papaya. Oh, mango papaya for the for the geckos, for the geckos. So, first step is to peel your fruit. So we'll go into super speed right about now. Don't peel me, Amanda. <laughs> So we got some really nice rotten, well not rotten, but overripe mangoes. So I bet the grocery store is happy. Because these weren't selling. That's some ripe mango right there. Shaving them down. So shaving them down. The pits are going to be used for ice pods as well. So go in. Good puree right there. See that mango puree for the for the kiddos. So we are going to utilize everything we can. Mango, mango. Ooh, brown bananas. We got some bananas from the freezer. She's not on the YouTube videos because she hates all of you. I'm just joking. She hates cameras. She's a very loving person, actually. Just doesn't like cameras. Hey, papaya. So, we're going to remove the papaya seeds. Papaya. You know what I'm doing? It's like a melon. Just scrape it out. Get them out of there. Because you don't want those to break up and turn into a mess. In the blender. So once that's all set and we got everybody out, we got our chef knife and we'll clean our little cutting board over here like so. And then the papaya, I'm just gonna cut off this top where the top of the melon was. And I'm literally just gonna go for slices. So papaya's pretty much like off really. Fancy. Fancy. 
Uh, all right, super feed. How's that? Oh, man, you think this guy cooks for a living? Slimy papaya, slimy papaya. I mean, this is crazy. This is so slimy. And I would eat this, but I hate papaya. Yep. I think papaya tastes like, I don't even know. It tastes like, uh, turkey time. It's pretty disgusting. Oops, I cursed. I'm gonna beep it out. It is disgusting. I don't like papaya. I like mango. Mango! Papaya? Not so much. So what I'm gonna do, make it nice and small, add it to our bowl, not spill the bowl everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I'm gonna eat some mango. Mmm. Oh, good. You want some berry? That one? It's sour. You got like that one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My diabetes is not like that. Nope. And now he's got to wait for a banana to fall. And we're set. It's time to eat some Chinese food. Right All right. It's game time. So now, we are going to blend it. We're going to throw the little blender. Make sure that sucker's tight. And this is really watery stuff, so it should just blend right up. We will see. Truth be told. Pure. Nope. <laughs> push it down here. Let's push it down. We're gonna have to get it going, I think. Oh man. Alright, let's try it again. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It ain't going. It isn't going. Maybe I should have put more papaya because I know the papaya was. But. All right, so let's put this over here. I'm gonna add a little water. Teeny tiny, teeny 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 tiny bit. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Marto. Uh, maybe a little more water. I was really hoping it was just like bland, but bam. Not going as easy as I thought. But you know what? That's pretty. Pretty fair. So this won't be a consistent diet. This is going to be more of a between feedings type deal. And the reason why I have Pangea in this container is because I uh, I buy the big bags and I do a, I actually do a mix between breeder growth formula and the uh, fig the fig complete the bugs. So I do a combo of those and I mix them up. So I always put uh, ten pounds ten pounds of uh, of the fig complete to eight pounds of the uh, growth breeding growth formula, whatever it's called. So that's what that is, that's a, that's a concoction, which I might get those super low. All right, guys, so you ready to test out the food I made for the geckos? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. All right. So who should we start off with? Melvin. Melvin. No. Melvin? 
Oh, Alright, so at the reptile expos, you probably have met this guy if you've come to my table. I did. I met him. And that's Melvin the mascot. He pooped, he pooped on my He did. That's not really Alright, so let's see if Melvin likes the food. I want to. You gotta dip his face yeah. into it. Yes, he does. Like oh, put his face right into it. So Melvin, Melvin approves it. The one thing about making fresh food is that it doesn't have all the extra preservatives, so the next day, it looks like that. Alright. Hold them, Jen. Or you're not going to hold them. You gotta hold them. Alright, so let's see if this guy. Hey, that puts it into it. There you go. Alright, let's see. Well, they were fed yesterday. He's hungry. But I can tell you right now, there's evidence that it did eat. And he's eating right now. He's like, mmm, like, that's good. Is he? He is, right? Hey, he's a stud. He's jumpy too. Yeah, this one's too. It jumped on my foot. Awesome looking. Alright. Oh no. This so we'll is see so crazy. how that one likes it. Hey. He's licking his lips. Hey, watch out. And this guy's actually for sale. So if you guys need a nice quality male crescent gecko. So he ate it. Yeah, it's, it's like, I the bowl. What is that? He's happy. Melvin, he don't likes the good. Jump. He likes so if you need a nice pinstripe, here's a beautiful pinstripe male. Oh! It fell on my leg. <laughs> and this one's pretty crazy! I don't know if he's for sale. I mean, it always says that he's for sale. This one's crazy. Must be if it's right labeled. It's yeah, it's for sale. So, this guy, if you need a nice strong pinstripe with long pins, yeah. this guy's for sale. It's for me. Yeah. Really awesome looking boy. I think. Change your hand, Melvin and Junior, for Melvin poops on her. Okay. Okay. I want to Melvin poops on Junior. All right. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Poop on David's head, Melvin. I poop on his head. We want video documentation yeah. of a bowel movement on Junior's head. <laughs> <laughs>